Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're no. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello?
love the prophet because he loves the sinner. I love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin. Find the exit out of this place. Grace has forgiveness. Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. On this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the vox populi, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Glory be. Go on, brother. Go on, brother. Reach out, brother. Reach out, brother. Praise be to the founders. Hallelujah. Oh, turn around to get back on my body. Take his hand. Might as well get it over with. Reach out, brother. Come and be Glory cleansed. Hell <laughs> Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. Oh. And make him born again. In the bosom of Columbus. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the dead! What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now! I told you, I'm not gonna do it. Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt!
No, because our pride will make it so. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, and, and the, the scroll, scroll, and, and the, the key. key. Amen. Amen. Chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work, you discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so we got a girl to find. <laughs> Mr. Rossignol, you are terrible. It's damned inconvenient when buildings don't dock on time. Yesterday I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. Morning. Good to see you. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Did you see the plight? Life does not matter to mm -hmm. a Liberty Scout. The There's no room There's for no preference, only duty. Comstock will have Saltonstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. 
I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. And then the Archangel showed a vision. A city, lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Popular that. Now, what does Vox Popular even mean, for heaven's sake? Uh, it's Latin. It means... Latin. event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. Warm temperatures oh, system, eh? and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. Here you go.
into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Box Popular, now do I? said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutex. Well, good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. You keep saying you that. believe me? Should we go in? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell you. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. <laughs> and there's devil number one. Devil number two. Woo, he's on a roll. Bucking Bronco is your answer! Boxophones, Boxophones, hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a Boxophone? What's a Boxophone? 
Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Have you sampled any of the new videos here today? I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with them. It's safer that way. and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. A natural gun. Well done, sir. You're almost there. Another shot right on the money. Ah, the anarchist Fitzroy. Now, aha, he got the bonus. Sir. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Another shot, right on the money. A natural gun slinger. You're almost there. A fine show. Another shot, right on the money. Ah, the anarchist Fitzroy. For that traitor! All oh, those fox are waking in their boots! A crack shot! Well done, sir! A magnificent display of marksmanship! The fox defeated! Daisy Fitzroy slain! You, sir, shall be richly rewarded! with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. <laughs> Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? Well, if it isn't assemblyman Buford, your spot at the rabble awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. My, my, my. Is it the children the from the sky? The children to their graves. Never Look at that one. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you 
are a living, walking scandal. Comstock, of course. The, the prophet, prophet bless, bless her, her and keep her. Oh, that poor woman. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. We're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system. Uh, we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. They got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some box skull. <laughs> your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Columbia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! First throw, first throw! Please, please don't do this. It was me, it was all me, please, please! No. Please, what are you doing? Come on, are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we we've got to do something so about that. Bitch. Wait! <laughs> it's him! <laughs> now, where'd you get that brand, <laughs> boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, False Shepherd? The False Shepherd! And we ain't letting no False Shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show him what we got planned, boys! <laughs> Shepherds come to lead our land! Come on now! Come on! Move it! Move it! 
I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise and the customer... Expect... Arabs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. sample.
Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? I... Aperitif. Handy in a pinch. The difference between life and death. Ooh. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. It doesn't kill you. A fair point. You'll find the going tough enough without squandering your friends. Or your ammunition. 